In this video, we're going to take a look at the Mono Wireless Lavalier Microphone WM620. My name is Paul Wilson and I make e-learning tutorials, more specifically Adobe Captivate tutorials. And every now and then, of course, I do tech reviews as well when someone sends me some cool piece of tech that they'd like me to review. If you like what you're seeing, seeing here today, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and please share these videos with people you think might enjoy them as well. So the good folks at Mono sent me this wireless dual microphone configuration here. It's two lavalier microphones in one charging case similar to what you'd see with Bluetooth headphones actually and a receiver that's designed to plug into either USB-C or lightning connectors. There is a lightning connector version for all of you earlier iPhone users out there and um, we'll take a close look at this. I'm going to unbox it now and then we'll give it a try and see how it works out. Okay, so let's take a look at what I got from Mono. So here's the box here. It's a wireless microphone WM620 series. It's actually available in a bunch of colors. I got it in black, but you can of course choose your own color. The other option that's available with this is that it's available with either a lightning connector or USB-C, which is what I received here. So it's just got a little slide out here and we've got the inner box like so. I'm going to lift that top off there and obviously we get an owner's manual, a user's manual. Um, I'll go through this at a later time here because I want to be very familiar with this. My intention as an e-learning designer developer, I probably won't use this on a day-to-day -day basis, but I'll be attending conferences this year and wouldn't it be kind of cool if I could hand someone one of the two lavalier style mics to place on their shirt or whatever and just do a quick interview uh, with my iPhone. And so, the, uh, you know, I would have preferred the lightning connector, but unfortunately I didn't get a choice in that. So I did get an, a little adapter from Amazon here. And we'll test that out at some point and see if that actually works or not. But uh, I'll go through the owner's manual at a later time. The actual package itself comes with the Bono box like this here. And if you open this up, there's a little latch at the front here. You'll see that inside are the two microphones, which I'll place right here, and the receiver itself here, which would plug into, let's say, the bottom of your phone. Um, I've already removed the protective tape, so the batteries are kicking in on these guys right here. And uh, my assumption is power would be available from this guy here once you plug it into your phone or device. And then you could use that as a microphone. Each one of these has its own little clip on the back here, if you can see that. I'll try to hold that up uh, a little bit closer here so you can see. Uh, there's a clip. You can clip it onto a lapel or top of a shirt or something like that. The two charging points are at the bottom here. You can just probably make that out. If I just catch the light on that, you'll see that there's the two charging points there. And those make contact with the, um, the positions or the connectors inside the case itself. The case, of course, has a charging point port at the back here and included with that of course is a charging cable and it's also got a little magnet as well here so you can see that there just a little mono magnet here and uh, the charging cable of course would be for charging your batteries inside the case here now, there are also USB ports, USB-C ports on the bottom. So in theory, you could charge these directly as you're using the other two or if you didn't have the case with you. So that's something that's available. So the little magnet, the idea is, is that you would take your lavalier microphone 
and have a magnet. And of course you could put this on the inside of a shirt and then it would stick. And of course you wouldn't have to worry about clipping to a lapel or anything like that. So I'll give these a good try. We'll, we'll give you a before and after. I'll use the microphone that's built in to my device and then we'll switch to the Mono uh, lavalier microphone and see what the difference is. Okay, so I've switched over to the Mono wireless uh, mic. I'm just using one of them right now. I've used the magnet just underneath my shirt to attach it right there and we'll just test it out. We can experiment maybe a little bit with the position. I tried sort of here first. I didn't like that. I'm going to put it off to one side see how that works. And we'll just do a little comparison and let you know how it works. Okay, so I just listened to the recording and obviously it's not going to be good as a Shure uh, MV7 microphone, which is my daily microphone of choice, of course. But if I'm in a situation where maybe I'm going to a conference, the beauty is, is I get two microphones, first of all, for the price of one. Each one is extremely portable. I mean, I can clip this to my shirt, I can put it in my pocket, I can do whatever I want with it. The receiver for it, which plugs into, you know, whatever device I happen to be using, uh, is also very portable and very compact. The complete solution is wireless, so I don't need to worry about wires or connecting to different devices. As long as I'm charged, I'm good to go. And of course, it comes in its own little handy charging case as well. So it's very convenient. So I don't see it replacing maybe your main microphone, but where this becomes useful is if you need to go portable and you know you're gonna be talking with people or interviewing people, it's a great solution for that scenario. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, Hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.